Today's video is another DIY acrylic nail video. Instead of doing normal coffin shaped nails where they look kind of like ballerina slippers, I thought it would be cool to actually make coffin nails. So starting with clean hands, remove any nail polish and oils from your fingernails with a nail polish remover. Then gently push back all of your cuticles. Using a very soft nail file, gently buff the entire surface of your nails, especially focusing where your cuticle was to remove any of the dead skin that may be on the surface of your nails, and get out any of those ridges that may be in your fingernails. This is to help the acrylic adhere to your nails better. Then just wipe off the nails and use a cotton ball soaked in remover again to remove any of the dust that may be left on your nails then take your nail tips. I got these nail tips off of eBay. You can just search nail tips on eBay and they'll come up with so many. They're super cheap and there's a bunch of different colors you can use. I like to use natural most of the time. Um, fit the nails to your nail tips or fit the nail tips to your nails and then line them up so they're ready to go. And then I'm taking this brush on nail glue that I got from Sally Beauty Supply and starting with my pinky, putting a small amount of glue into the well of the nail tip and pressing it onto my finger. Always start with your pinkies because it gives you your thumbs to work with longer. If you start with your thumbs, you're going to be trying to work around using your thumbs. So always use or always start with your pinkies first. At this point, I would normally trim and file them to the desired shape that I want, but I am actually going to file them after I put on the acrylic. So I am trimming them down a little bit, but a little bit longer than I actually want the nails. I'm using this Beauty Secrets primer that I got from Sally Beauty Supply and also the Beauty Secrets acrylic nail powder in clear and the Beauty Secrets nail liquid. This is my first time using this acrylic powder so and it's so much better than what I was using before from the Kiss Acrylic Kit. Putting a small amount of the liquid into my little dappen dish which I also got from Sally Beauty Supply and just situating everything so it's ready to go. Then I'm putting on a tiny 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 amount of primer on each of my nails. Only use a tiny bit. And it's been a while since I've done nails so just bear with me on how crappy I do the first few. I'm using a number 10 brush. I also got this brush off of eBay. I'm pressing it into the acrylic liquid until all of the little bubbles stop coming out. You don't want any air bubbles in your brush. So just keep pushing it back and forth until they're all gone. And then you just wipe off the brush just a few times and then dip it into the powder until a nice ball forms on the brush and then just brush that onto your nail let it sort of get wet a little bit just let it sit there and then you can slowly push it up close to your cuticle but do not touch your skin and then as the ball starts to dry you can start to pat it out and brush it into shape. This does take a lot of practice and you can tell I'm having some difficulty getting it to do what I want it to do. It's been a while and it takes a few times to get okay with it or okay at it but just keep doing it. By, by my pointer finger I think I was doing okay. Uh, the next ball you're going to put in the center to build up an arch where your natural nail arch would be and also build up where the nail tip meets your natural nail so that everything is a nice smooth surface and then you'll put one more ball on the tip and just smooth everything out but I'm just going to let this play through so you guys can watch me do it multiple times. Sorry I keep going out of frame on those last few. I don't it's hard to film doing your nails. Did you know that? Like, I don't know how people do it all the time and keep their hand in the same spot. It's so hard. I have to like look at my hand from different angles, got it way up in my face. It's, it's difficult, it's weird.
After you've got all the acrylic on, let them dry for at least five minutes, I would say. You'll know that they're dry when you hear this sound. When you tap them with a vial or your other nails, you know. Now comes the long and tedious part of filing. I'm using a Beauty Secrets 100 grit nail file to file out the shape of my nails. I'm starting by just filing it straight down, flat on the tip till I get it as long as I want it, so nice and flat on the top. And then I'm turning it to an angle so that each point or each corner of the nail will now be a slant like it would be on a coffin, like the top of a coffin. And then also filing out the sides of my nails so that they're nice in shape and situated the way they're supposed to be. Once you have the shape all filed out, you can buff the entire surface of the nail just to make sure there aren't any bumps or weirdness after doing the acrylic. And then the final filing step is to use a super soft nail file and a three-way buffer in order until you get nice, shiny, perfect nails prepped for painting. So I'm taking these little strips of nail tape and putting them flat across the very bottom of my nail because the coffins are flat on the bottom so we need a lot of straight edges. Then I'm using this Sally Hansen nail polish in black and I'm gonna paint straight down the middle of the nail but then curve it towards the point and you want to curve it sort of facing down towards that corner of the nail because when you look at it straight on it will look flat because your nails are round if you were to do the line just straight down to the point it would make them too wide and I made this mistake the first time I painted them and they didn't look good so I had to redo them so curve it down towards the point of the nail Then once they are dry, just peel off the little pieces of tape and you have adorable little coffins. But as you can see, they aren't perfect. So I'm taking some nail polish remover again and a tiny paintbrush. I put a little bit of the remover into uh, the cap and I'm just using the paintbrush to perfect the little lines. I got a little lazy. I don't know if you could tell, but anyway. Then once they were dry, I took this NYC Matt Me Crazy because I kind of wanted them to be matte. I thought it made them look better. You can leave them shiny. You can even have a color underneath the coffins. I just left them natural like that. I don't know why, but this is what they looked like when they were done, and it's so cute, and I love them. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, and be sure to like the video. Check out all of my social media, at Lindsay Michelle, and more links down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.